So, um, I, I suppose I know quite a bit about these two characters. Um, Mr. Sykes, I did three books on him, which um, were all bestsellers. And I uh, got signed to be a film by Western Edge Pictures. Um, film is still to come, but I'm told it is literally the next thing to do on uh, Vaughan Civil's list. Um, and Lee Duffy, so I did three books on him. They were all three Amazon bestsellers. Um, and I did, uh, I did two documentaries on him. Um, so I know a great deal. Quite often, a lot of people say to me, oh, well, what do you know? You're only 8, 11, I think, when, when he died, Duffy. Um, you know, I never, I never quite understand that because the people who've written books on, like, Adolf Hitler uh, or, you know, <clears throat> 200 on Jack the Ripper, um, do they not have opinions? Do, do they not? So my um, levels of research... Um, were borderline obsession for for both of them, uh, and I'll, I'll I've seen kind of videos, um, particularly one utter bullshit on YouTube. Um, and if you have a look at his biggest video, it's what he's talking about, uh, which is complete utter fabrication. Now, what I'll tell you, I will base on facts. Um, so. Duffy and Sykes, um, they only met twice, to my knowledge. Uh, and you're saying, well, well how's your not? So I, I'll explain. So Duffy got four years in March 1988. That was the first meeting. Um, so I spoke to a Durham prison officer, very, very elderly now. Um, and he told me, um, they're basically Sykes and du so basically Duffy went at the prison Durham prison March 1988 uh, so he was kind of put on the, the ghost ship the uh, what's the correct term for it the ghost train which is um, the basically the put the sent to a lot of dispersal units um, Duffy and Sykes went through this it's basically to break your um to break your spirit, you know, if you're, if you're kind of seen as influential, um, as Duffy would have been in, in Durham because it's his local prison. There was no home house till, till 1992, the year after Lee died. Um, same as Sykes, you know, if he went in Armley, which was Leeds, then he would have been shipped. And um, that was a reason why Duffy, on that sentence, in the 26 months he was in, uh, went in 22 prisons, not 18, like um, Stephen Richards said. And um, so I spoke to the prison officer and he told me that basically they were in the prison at the same time in March 1988. They were kept at different ends of the prisons for obvious reasons. Um, they did meet once in prison and um, the guard who was there told me that there was... He did describe it. He said when Lennox Lewis fought Mike Tyson in June 2002, he said there was a huge row of us um, to, for obvious reasons to, you know, because there was bad tension. I suppose these, these were the two. Two names in that kind of Neanderthal world, uh, certainly in Northern England, um, and they were completely kept to the point where they couldn't even speak to each other. Um, so that's a prison warden told me that um, I have spoken to one or two of the people I've spoke to you know I kind of become very close friends with um, certainly one of Lee's best friends um, and that story was relayed back um, so the other meeting they had was in um, the Havana and this was about a month before Lee died um, so Sykes was brought in in there so this was uh, July 91. Um, see, the thing with Sykes and Duffy, I know they were from northern Northern England, but they were in prison when one was out and vice versa. Um, you know, when Sykes was, when his book was out in 1990, early part of 1990, and he was selling it for Min off the Park, which was in Middlesbrough, um, Duffy was in prison for the first five months of that year. And then obviously... Um, 
Sykes was in, you know, for instance, um, when, let me just try and think. Uh, so when he got out in September 89, Lee was in prison um, for near enough another year. Um, and yeah, they just kind of, they were like ships sailing in the night. So the second meeting, and I spoke to the gentleman, I spoke to a guy who, um, I'm not going to name him, but he was the guy who held Lee as he was dying. And he was there. And uh, the Spencers have referred back to uh, to this. And um, basically, Duffy was in shorts, vest, nightclub, dancing, drugs. And um, of course, they were aware of each other. And Sykes kind of made a play for him and went to shake his hand. And Duffy just completely mocked him, turned his back to him and said to his mayor, who told me, said, who does he think he is, me? And um, that was a massive kind of you know, disrespect if you like, and carried on dancing and that was that. So that was the only ever two meetings they had, you know, I'm quite aware of um, that old guy who wears the NFL tops, dresses like a paper boy, and he makes all kinds of utter nonsense up. Now that is based on fact, right? So I spoke to the prison officer and I spoke to a couple of witnesses. Uh, so I spoke to the prison officer who was there at that kind of, um, not an altercation, uh, how can I put it? Kind of like a Mexican standoff, if you like, and you know the Clint Eastwood films. You just almost needed that kind of spaghetti western music, uh, and nothing happened. But there was a massive prison presence in Durham Prison, and then you know Duffy was twenty-two prisons in twenty-six months. So you do the do the maths, and then of course Sykes was in Hull Prison um, and, and dispersal unit until he got out on the documentary. Um, and then they did have that meeting, and uh, as I said, the Sykes was brought in the Havana, um, or the speakeasy as it was. Not a little bit in the Havana then. Um, and, you know, that was very, very brief, and, and no words were really spoken. Sykes kind of, you know, you're bearing in mind, Paul Sykes was uh, 19 years senior to Duffy. So, you know, when Duffy was just gone 26 then, uh, Sykes would have been 45. Um, and had seen better days, you know, was was a chronic alcoholic then. Uh, although a very scary man. Uh, he'd, you know, he'd... Um, he was levelled completely cold by Nick Manners mm, about a year after that. So he was on a, particularly on a down downward spiral, um, who would have, you know, not been as up to... I think many years before that, I think Duffy would have been no match for him. You know, you're talking about a guy who, um, you know, Duffy wasn't skilled. His One of his close friends said to me, he said, the thing with Lee was he wasn't like these MMA fighters today you see with the with their ears. And um, he, he never had that. He was just, had anything he hit, he broke. And, um, and basically, you know, Sykes was a, was, you think what you want of him, but he was a a British title level, Commonwealth title level fighter, um, immensely strong as well. Um, you know, I did, and that video you're watching on uh, Paul Sykes at large, I spoke to um, a weightlifter, and I think it's, I think he's lifting somewhat like 225 key, which is somewhat like maybe 20, 27 stones, kicking on for 30 stone, and I said, is that good? Um, for, uh, I'm sure, I think I will deal with being then 43 year old. He said, it's good for any age, you know? So, um, so he was immensely strong and obviously had the, that bit of nastiness about him. And obviously he was a trained boxer as well. You know, Duffy, when you sit, when you kind of talk about Duffy, he epitomizes for me, youth, lots of energy and, um, ridiculous power, more power than was probably necessary. Um, any, anything he hit, he broke. But, you know, he he wasn't by any means, you see, the, the skilled fighters today. Um, you know, he was this kind of rough and ready kid who could just take people's heads off. Um, uh, and yeah, you know, that, 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 so they're the, they are the absolute concrete, factual, two meetings. Um, I spoke to several people who were there. Um, I spoke to maybe f certainly three or four who were there at the nightclub. Um, as I said, the dispensaries have kind of spoke me about it. Um, two, of, two of Lee's friends have told me in detail um, 
and then of course the meeting a couple of years before, three years before, three and a half I think it was, was um, was by one of the, the Durham prison officers. Um, he told me in detail, I think about 2017, and um, and that was that. And you know, I hadn't even done a Duffy. I, I hadn't even thought of doing a book on Duffy at that point. Um, I think it was the first Sykes book he got in touch. He he went on to work in Hull Prison the Screw, and he told me in detail. So for all the kind of the other nonsense, which is kind of you know, bear in mind if someone does a view, if someone does a video, um, you're getting two two pound twenty for every thousand views, um, and they can say. All kinds of made up, utter tall stories, um, and in that guy's case, it's you know, it's um, it's laughable, um, but it gets views. But as I said, listen, I didn't know him, never met him, never met either of them. I've got no emotional ties to either of them. I find them both hugely interesting, um, and that's that. I don't have any opinion on them. I don't like one more than more than the other. I've got no. I've got a business interest in both. Um, a massive interest in you know, five on Lee Duffy and three and Paul Sykes, and it's going to be a film. Um, of course, where Warcry Publishing has another couple of books on Sykes, which um, I have an interest in as well, and um, and that's just the facts. That's just I can't make anything up. I can't, you know, all this kind of he said he's a nonsense coming right at me is complete utter made up nonsense for views um by a prolific liar habitual liar um and that, that's my opinion on it as i said you know that's come from witnesses who were there and um let us know your thoughts below um yeah that that's um that was what i found from um from speaking to people witnesses who were there who, who kind of lee spoke to himself very 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 close friends um not someone who had a friendship with lee duffy on the back of seven eight weeks tops um and then made a career off it for 30 plus years um you know the real people the real people who were there were i've kept the dignity if they like and um particularly one if he did a book on on duffy it would be like it would be as good as lee being here because that guy was with him every minute of the day um, and that's why there's so many pictures of them together. 